Big news for Ethereum. So make sure you mark your calendars for January 17th, 2024. And when I say big news coming for Ethereum, I'm talking about lower gas fees, which is something we have all been waiting for, especially since that was kind of promised with the Ethereum merge from proof of work to proof of stake. So let's get into it. Ethereum developers target January 17th for the first testnet deployment of the big upgrade. Denkun. I hope I pronounced that properly. January 17th will be the date for the Gary, Gary testnet to run through Denkun, the next upgrade that will enable proto dank sharding, which I hate these terms, okay? And essentially, this is going to reduce the fees for layer two rollups and will scale the blockchain by increasing space for blobs of data. The upgrade was originally planned for quarter four this year, but was also pushed back due to engineering complexities. Denkun would be the first major upgrade since the Chappella earlier this year, which enabled staked Ethereum withdrawals, which please, that's another mess on itself. I don't know who was degen enough to deposit Ethereum in a pool that was not able to be withdrawn. But anyways, I got you guys. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Wendy O, The O Show. Like, comment, subscribe, set alerts, and share this. I got everybody's non-tech savvy. So basically, Ethereum merged over from proof of work to proof of stake. Proof of work is a mechanism that Bitcoin uses and essentially makes the network a little bit more secure. But essentially it was kind of pushed onto us the reason why they wanted to merge over from proof of work to proof of stake was to lower those fees. Because again, nobody in TradFi is going to use Ethereum if the fees are high. And we have a lot of people from TradFi that absolutely love Ethereum. JP Morgan, and of course those Bitcoin spot, or excuse me, the Ethereum spot ETFs that have been asked for, but we're still waiting to get those approved. Okay, so gotta lower these transaction fees. And again, when we're talking about developers, especially on Ethereum, they take their time and no need to get mad or upset if this January 17th date doesn't work out. But anyways, this is essentially supposed to help lower the gas fees so that we can actually transact. And of course they wanna push through that CBDC, okay? But anyways, this is gonna be important because gas fees are still really, really high in Ethereum. This is actually good um, for the entrepreneur market in crypto and non-corporate capitalism because let's face it when we have all of these layer ones that are competing like we have solana cardano and ethereum competing to be the best the fastest the affordable and give the best user experience this is what we want to see we do not know who is going to be the top when it comes to the layer ones but it is good to see a lot of these projects continue to scale and make things more we'll give users a better experience okay full disclosure i have ethereum ethereum hasn't been popping off like a lot of the other projects but that's okay i absolutely love to see people printing on Solana. And yes, I have a moon bag. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what we could potentially expect. So make sure to mark your calendars if you're somebody who's actively trading or investing in Ethereum. And again, this is just for entertainment and education. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.